Hi, I'm Ben Eppel. I'm here for GHTV. We are here in the LRC with Stacy Merritt. He is a full-time faculty member. So Stacy, as a full-time faculty member, what is your actual role within the strike? Well, I, I'm on the union executive for the Humber Faculty Union, and I'm vice president of the faculty union here at Humber. What is your actual position on the strike? Like, what is your uh, point of view on how it's going, how, how it's going to end? Yeah, that's a that's a broad question. We you know we're we're just finishing day two here at Humber, uh, and from our perspective, I mean obviously we're not happy that we have a strike. We don't want to be out here. Um, we've been picketing now for two days, and uh, we wish we were in the classroom teaching or counseling or in the library because it's uh, faculty, counselors, and librarians that are all part of the faculty union. Um, but you know I think. From uh, as strikes go, we uh, we've got very good support from our members, and so we've had a lot large number of people on the picket lines, which obviously shows that uh, we believe strongly in in what we're fighting for. So good. And you mentioned uh, no one's happy that this strike is happening, obviously, no. uh, including the students. If there was one thing that you think is a big, maybe a misconception, or one point that you really want the students to understand about this strike, what would that be? Well, I, as you said, the students we know are very upset, and rightfully so. I mean, their education is being interrupted. They're concerned about whether their semester is going to be lost. Their year could be lost. And I don't believe that's going to happen. Uh, and I think what we want them to know is we're doing this. In other words, we are going on strike uh, because we believe that there are issues that need to be addressed by the college that will benefit them in the long term and benefit all students now and in the future. And uh, so it's kind of one of those short-term pain for long-term gain situations. And, you know, we're not striking because, because of money or things of that nature, which, you know, students believe we're just, you know, perhaps that uh, the faculty are just frivolously stopping work and, and making their lives miserable. We're not doing that. We're, we believe, honestly, that we're fighting for, uh, for them and, and to make their educational experience better. Uh, as far as students goes, I know you said it's not about money, and that is a strong message that's been put forward by the union that it's not about money. Um, however, for a lot of students, they, it seemingly is about the money that they have paid. So, for example, in our studio yesterday, we had two students in who started a petition. Uh, the hashtag behind it is, we pay to learn and they're requesting a refund from the college for every day missed of class. Uh, it so far has 65,000 signatures as of today, and they are wanting 30 day, $30 per day refund for full-time students, $20 for part-time students. How would you respond to that? Well, I'd say I understand why, why they're feeling that way. Uh, you know, I think the goal will be once the strike ends, and it will end, uh, is that they're, uh, educational experience will not be significantly impacted. Our goal obviously will be to, as best we can, to ensure that they learn uh, the material and give an opportunity to to learn what they otherwise would have learned. I can't obviously promise exactly everything because it depends on the length of the strike, etc., and issues like that. But, uh, you know, again, I'll, I'll just say I, I can understand why they're feeling that way. It's uh, it's a complex issue as to why this is occurring and uh, you know it's not the faculty's goal for the students to be shortchanged in their education we don't want that to happen and we want them to uh, get what they paid for and we'll work hard to ensure that they do get that they paid for once the strike is over so so as far as working hard for the students goes uh, i find that is like one of the main messages of the union is that this is not about the money it's for the students and it's about getting a lot of equal equal pay for equal work was one of the messaging that yep. we got on the flyers yep. out there. As far as actually getting students back into the classroom goes, um, is are the negotiations happening right now? Or is the union working to get the negotiations back and up and running? If they're not, what is going on with that? Yeah, I, I better be careful what I'm saying. I'm telling you what I, you know, based on what I last know or I've been told. And at this point, there are no negotiations. At least that's my understanding. Uh, and I hope I'm accurate in saying that because something may have changed in the last hour or so and I haven't heard. But uh, at this point, there's not negotiations going on. And we have offered and want to get back to the table to discuss 
uh, what the issues are, and so far it hasn't happened. So, Right. And as far as the other side of the table goes, the other side of the argument, if there is one thing that you could make them understand, like in specifics, what would that one thing be? And when you say them, which them? Are so the students or as, the, as the other side of the table, the colleges. The colleges? Yeah, I don't know if I can say there's one thing because I think their um, understanding of what we hope to to see is very clear. We are uh, we're wanting. We believe that the students are better served by uh, an increase in the number of full-time faculty that are being are being used to teach across Ontario at Ontario colleges. And uh, I don't know if you're aware, but right now the estimates are about 28 percent of classes are being taught by full-time faculty, the rest are taught by non-full-time faculty. We believe that full-time faculty uh, bring things, uh, you know, the ability to meet with students outside of class and things of that nature that would be very great, of great assistance to the students. So that's a big issue that we're fighting for. You said about the money, the colleges obviously feel are concerned, but because they know that full-time faculty do cost a bit more than non-full-time faculty. So they're uh, saving money by having more non-full-time uh, teachers teaching classes. But uh, so they are aware of our position and we are w well aware of their position on that. Uh, the other issues are things like who has control over academic things like you know what is being taught, how courses are being evaluated and co course content being evaluated. Uh, you know, decisions on marks. We feel that that uh, belongs with the faculty that are teaching the courses or the content experts. And the college wants to retain some control over that by deans, etc., in the in the various schools. So, those are the type of issues. I can, so, to answer your question, I'm, I know I'm rambling here a bit, but I don't think there's a specific issue that we want the college to understand. I think they know well know what our position is. There's just an agree disagreement as to how to achieve you know, the things that we want to achieve and what's best and, and the cost impact of, of some of those things that we feel should happen. All right, Stacy. well thank you very much for joining us. Uh, are there any additional comments that you would like to make, anything you want to leave us with? I, I just say again, we're not wanting to be out there on the picket line. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's something we wish we all want to be back in the classroom, so we want this over as soon as possible. Uh, and for the students that are listening, you know, we, uh, it's critical that they understand that like th sometimes in life you have to go through things because you think there's a bigger picture, a broader issues that need to be addressed and you can't continue to push them into the future. You need to deal with it right away. And that's why we're ta we've taken this stance, recognizing that it is not great for students that are in, in courses right now and enrolled right now but we're hoping it ends quickly and uh, that the result of the strike will be that they get a better educational experience, not only the students that are here right now, but the students in the future. So. All right, and that was Stacy Merritt. He has been a full-time faculty here at Humber since 1997, currently works in the HRT department. I'm Ben Apple for GHTV.